My name is Otto Whitehead and I'm doing my PhD at uh, the Percy Fitzpatrick Institute of African Ornithology. Marion Island is part of the Prince Edward Islands and these islands belong to South Africa. They have an 021 number but they are far, far away. So they are about two and a half thousand kilometers southeast of Cape Town, halfway between here and Antarctica. So it's really slap bang in the middle of the roaring 40s. It's a really amazing opportunity for South Africa to have an island like this. It's like the perfect laboratory to study an ecosystem which is relatively untainted by um, anthropogenic influences. The sky is constantly changing because it is a volcanic cone that just juts out of the middle of the Southern Ocean. There's no land masses around for ages, so the storms and weather systems just come through there and the, the skies just change very rapidly. My PhD focuses on understanding the foraging ecology of macaroni and southern rock upper penguins. Over the last two decades the numbers have declined by 30 and 70 percent respectively and not much is known about the causes of these declines largely because not much is known about where they actually go to see to find food and how they actually capture that food. So I'm looking at exactly that and basically part of my job on the island was to understand their population trends, like how many of them are breeding every single year and they breed at different times during the year. So when it's like peak season, um, so when say macaroni penguins have come ashore and they've mated and they've laid their eggs and you need to go around the island with binoculars and count how many nests there are with breeding birds. There's 290,000 pairs of macaroni penguins and 42,000 pairs of rock upper penguins. So it's just those two species. It's a mammoth task to, to go around the island counting them. And sometimes you need to like count a little section and go there, 100 nests there and kind of extrapolate to the rest. We were doing a seabird census around the island then when we were walking through this area of the island called Santa Rosa Valley, which is just covered in black lava, it's really, really moody. We gazed over at the interior of the island and we just saw these wave-like clouds start forming. And I just dropped my bag and whipped out my camera and I just started filming it immediately. It lasted for about 10 minutes and then um, just dissipated into, into nothing. I basically carried my camera everywhere while I was on the Marion Island. It became a means for me to kind of document my surroundings because it was such a, an amazing place and often I was out there just by myself in a place that you would only ever see in like a BBC nature documentary. And I mean, it's just raw, it's wild, there's so much like abundance and diversity you can walk past a pair of wandering albatrosses, just wings spread wide and see them dancing with each other and they don't really mind you being there. And so to, to get that close to these animals that are just continuing with their day-to-day -day existence of getting food and raising a chick, getting so close to them is like really, really it's a real privilege.